Transcribe is also great for figuring out songs um, from other instruments. Here I have a piano version of Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered. Nice version of it. Nice intro. Sort of jazzy. Now, what if I wanted to figure out what that chord was? I can highlight it, listen to it, loop it, and I can pick, try and pick out the pitches, listening to it over and over again like that. Or, look what we have down here. We have this piano keyboard, and guess what? It reads out the pitches that are present in that chord. So we have an E, we have an A, we have a B, we have a D, we have an F sharp, an A, and if you click on the pitch, you can hear it plays the pitch for you. So what happens, some of these little indications here are overtones. They may not actually be present in the chord. So what you can do is listen and then play the pitch and see if you hear it in the chord to see if it's really in there or not. So that's very handy. Plus, it gives you a readout, a reasonable guesstimate of what that chord is. There's possibly an E 11th or a D 6 9 with E in the bass or a B minor 11 with E in the bass. Those are guesstimates. It's not always accurate, but sometimes that can at least get you in the ballpark to help you figure out what that chord is. Another wonderful thing is, you know, this is piano. It may not be in a key in which you want to play the piece. Well, rather than going all the trouble of figuring out that chord and then having to transpose to your guitar key, you can open up the effects window, go to tuning, and change the piano to a different key by going up or down a few semitones, whatever you need to do. If you need it to be lower in pitch or you know, a lower key, fine, or a higher key. So you set that and then play. And let's see, let's go back to the beginning. As now in another a new key, which may be more friendly for the guitar. So again, it saves you the step of figuring the song out and then having to transpose the whole thing. You can figure out from the get-go in the guitar key in which you want to play it. And of course you have all the usual gizmos from Transcribe. You can slow things down, you can loop a passage, listen to it at any speed you want. So again, it really is helpful if you're trying to learn a piece of non-published music uh, and learn it on the guitar, especially from another instrument.